Hey, gang, Brian Martin coming at you from uh, Chrome Shop Mafia Four State Trucks here in Joplin. And today we've got what every Chrome Shop, every install shop is talking about. We've got one of our first few 589 Peterbilts in the shop. Uh, we did get our hands on one for Louisville. It was the Ultra Cab. Uh, you probably saw it down there in the Iowa Customs booth. Uh, but this one is a flat roof cab, and we're going to get to design and install quite a few parts on this one that we haven't in the past. So everybody's wondering, can the 589 be as user-friendly and cool as the 389? So as we go through this one, we'll take you through step-by-step, step, and you can let us know what you think. Let's do a walk around. Hey, there he is, our top tech, Michael Forst. Michael, what are you thinking on these uh, 589s? Are they growing on you yet? Oh, I guess they're uh, they're getting some attention. Uh, you know, they're not too bad. They are they're not a 389 by any means, <laughs> but they're doing their best to keep a classic look to them, and they're they're really looking pretty good. They're uh, posing some challenges to yep. parts for them because it's not straight lines and and uh, flat panels. Everything in here is. Uh, is, everything is different. A little more modern and contemporary. I got to tell you, though, what I've noticed is every week they're out, I'm seeing a few less haters out there uh, in the crowd. They do have some potential that we didn't think they actually did at first because we're Americans and we don't like change. Right. But down at uh, Kentucky, there was four or five of these 589s that all had a distinctly cool kind of a, kind of a fresh look that uh, most people... If they were honest, they'd probably dig it a little bit. And it doesn't matter because over the next few years, this is what we will be yeah, working on. Yep. We probably <laughs> should give a shout out to our friends at Heishman Ag uh, from up in Iowa for sending us not only this 589, but it's very likely when they pick this one up, they're going to drop another one off. So yeah. a few exciting projects we've got on this one. Uh, is, as I said, developing uh, a visor for a traditional flat roof. Uh, we're going to tackle this exhaust, which is going to be a cool uh, four-state trucks, Chrome Shop Mafia project. I'm anxious to see what you come up with on that. Yeah, this is uh, something I've never seen before, the way that this is designed. So it'll, uh, it'll take some engineering to, to get us something that's going to be what we want to end up with you, to work with this way to build. you got to scratch your head about the factory's concept for this exhaust. It's like, let's come up with the worst possible concept and let's, let's do it. Yeah, Thanks, <laughs> we appreciate it. Yeah, but uh, tell us some of the other stuff. I know the list is still under development. We really don't know standing here right now all of the projects we're gonna do on this truck. I know we're gonna do uh, a bumper for sure. Yeah. What are some of the other things? Uh, start from the front work and back. I know we're gonna do some air cleaning panels on the front and the back with some lights in them. Mm -hmm. So obviously this has no straps onto it or no bracket like your three designs have. So it's gonna take some engineering to, to get a panel with lights in it. Uh, they're gonna be getting a visor built for this. This is like the, the first flat top we've seen. So it's gonna take a lot of uh, cardboard templates and uh, head scratching also to get one to fit this. As you can see, it's a curved top. Yep. Of now, I know line. we already offer for the Ultra Cab yes. a one piece visor that yes. really looks fabulous. We've already got that uh, available now, but the uh, traditional roof, low, uh, low cab, we'll be working on that. I know Cody's excited to get his hands on this truck just for that reason. Uh, yeah, we're going to have some uh, cab and cow panels and some sleeper panels also, probably with mm -hmm. lights in those. Mm -hmm. I think that'll probably be stainless. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's show the folks uh, like the craziness of this exhaust. So you've got what? What is that? A seven inch elbow? Uh, it's about seven. I haven't measured it, but it looks like a seven. Yeah, six plus. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, so you've got that. Then it's reduced. Then uh, you've got a uh, like a stainless bellows hose. Yeah, there's uh, like a, like back a in there. Pipe kind of in there. Yeah, it's crazy. You re there, there, you can see it. So it's not even a solid pipe behind the shield. And then it's clamped in several locations, which is unorthodox for a Peterbilt. Mm -hmm. But uh, that is quite different for sure. Yeah, it's uh, going to take a little bit of re-engineering to, to get a straight pipe with no shields on here with yeah. uh, some long drop elbows on it. Uh, uh, deaf hideaway for sure. Hideaway, I, I mean, yeah. if one of these late model trucks comes to four state, it's got to have a deaf hideaway. Yeah, we can't let them leave without one. So. <laughs> So we'll get the get this moved up here. It's got a I think a 120 gallon tank on the other side. Uh -huh. Here we've got a, a 
90 gallon in a diff tank and we're going to get two tanks that are visually the same size right this one move forward cover the diff tank so it's even on the back and you know cover the tank up here i know we've got a call with the customer probably this afternoon we're obviously going to do a deck plate we're going to do some rear light bars but beyond that i'm sure the list will continue to grow but this is going to be a, a good start i reckon it's time to start tearing this exhaust off and uh get it rolling huh yeah let's tear it down all right guys so there's our exhaust pipe on this 589 got our heat shield removed and here's this funky flex pipe we can see behind that shield and reason for that is this elbow is mounted solid to the frame we come up here and the rigid part of the pipe is mounted solid to the cab here and here so we don't want to have our elbow attached to the frame and our pipe attached to the body because as the body is flexing and uh, bouncing on the air ride it's easy to be able to move independent of each other so that's the purpose of this but we're going to remove this clamp and that clamp up there probably going to have to redesign how our lower pipe is mounted to get our long drop seven inch pipes on here so i'm going to go ahead and get this pulled off of here and then uh start getting to uh doing some engineering so wish me luck hey we've left michael out there a couple of hours working on the truck alone let's go out there take a peek and kind of get a status report what do you say okay let's see what's going on what has changed it looks like we've got uh our brackets up here for the uh newly designed sun visor uh, is put in place so the exhaust is removed and we've got the makings of cab and cowl skirts not too bad for half a day's progress however <laughs> uh, yeah. it looks like the headliner had to come down to do the bracket swap yeah had to get access up into here and boy they did not make that easy uh, the whole truck was built around that headliner. Pretty much. It started right there and worked out. <laughs> so we had to start back here and work forward just to get access up into here to get to our threaded panels. and Yeah. Still yet for, you know, less than two-thirds of a day, quite a bit of a radical change here going on. All right. We'll check back in a few.